Hi everyone, so today we're gonna be playing around with some of the new makeup that I just got in from a recent Sephora order. So um, I actually placed this order as part of my little birthday haul and I will be doing kind of a try on first impressions of all the products that I got in. So if you're interested in that, then please keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Susan and I talk about all things beauty related. So if you like that type of content, then would really appreciate if you would subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you're notified of when I do upload. So today we're actually going to be talking about a Sephora order that I just got in. Um, so we're doing a little bit of an unboxing as well as a try on for the products that um, I'm able to use and show you on camera. So to get started, let me show you everything that I did order. So let's start with skincare. So I did order this Primera Miracle Seed Essence. So let me just open this up. It actually comes with the essence itself and also some cotton pads. So this is what the essence looks like. It's supposed to be really hydrating. So the key ingredient is lotus seed extract and it's supposed to be really protective for your skin because it does have a lot of amino acids and it's supposed to smooth texture, improve tone, increase hydration, and help fight environmental stressors. And it is a clean beauty formula. So I actually did try this earlier today and um, put this on after I cleansed my skin. And so far I would say it's actually a little thicker than I was expecting. Um, so the SK2 one is a little bit more watery and this one you actually um, can tell it's a little bit heavier. So when you do pour it out, you know, just a little bit comes onto your hand. So I do like that it is more controlled. One thing about this is actually there's no scent at all, which can be a good thing if you're sensitive to fragrance in your skincare. And I do appreciate that, but I will say that um, I was expecting a little bit of a scent, so it was a little thrown off that it was just completely unscented. So I actually don't mind having a little bit of a scent or a nice you know, experience when you are putting on skincare, but I would say so far, first impression, I do really like it. So the next product that I got is the Solwasu Essential Firming Cream. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a moisturizer formulated with antioxidant rich goji berries, black beans, and arrowroot. And it offers deep hydration and improved skin elasticity. So this is what the moisturizer looks like. It has a nice heavy weight to it. Um, was packaged really well. And it does actually have like a little bit of a ginger scent. Um, I don't know if ginger is included. It didn't say... Oh, so it's arrowroot. So I do like this one. I tried it out this morning as well, and I do feel like it's really moisturizing. It is on the thicker side of a moisturizer, so I really personally like that. Um, in my moisturizers, I like it to be more of a cream texture versus gel, and I do find that it was very hydrating, and it also provided that really nice kind of spa-like experience with the light uh, scent. So the next product that I'm actually a little bit nervous to try out is this Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. So this actually had a lot of really good reviews on Sephora's website, so I'm curious to see how this will go, but there's a little brush applicator to apply to your lash line and you're supposed to use this daily. So this says that you'll have the appearance of longer, thicker looking lashes in four to six weeks with full improvement in three months. So I will keep you guys updated on how this goes and if I'm able to continue daily use of this. Then I also did get this Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow in the shade Jungle. And so this is a smoky green shade and it's supposed to be fully waterproof. So I was really influenced by Melissa Alatore to buy this. So this is kind of like greenish gold khaki shade and I'm really excited to use this. So next I picked up one of the Dior Quince. So this is the Five Colors Couture Palette. And this is what the packaging looks like. Super sleek, has Dior here engraved. 
And then what's really cool is they actually changed up their compact design. So you actually press in, press the gold bar here, and then this is what it looks like. So I got this in soft cashmere. I can swatch these ones for you. Okay, so here are the five shades swatched here. So you'll see that this one's a really pretty metallic shimmery shade. Um, this one is more of a lid topper, so you, you can't really see it that well, but it's kind of a light pinky gold sparkly shade. This one's like a taupe, really pretty satin finish. This one is a matte uh, darker brown, and this one's you know really soft, a little bit powdery, but I assume that it'll be pretty easy to blend. And this one's more of a lighter brown satin shade. So excited to play around with this. I also bought a new mascara to try out. So I've heard really good things about the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, and this is a tubing mascara, so we shall see how this works. Usually I only use waterproof mascara because that is what holds my curl, but if I will be using other formulas, I typically still like to apply my waterproof mascara as the first coat and then go in with another like more volumizing mascara or yeah, use another one on top of that, but um, I'm just gonna go in with the Limitless Lash Mascara directly today. And then last but not least, I picked up the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil, and this can be used actually on your lips, your eyes, your brows, but this one I picked up to use as a lip liner, and this is in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. So this is supposed to be a really good one to line your lips and just add a little bit more definition. I also have uh, the kind of little birthday gift from Sephora, and I chose the Hourglass one, so it has the primer, which I do really like. Um, it's definitely more of a mattifying primer, but I find it does make your makeup last a long time, so I'll use this one for special occasions. And then it also has the Mineral Veil uh, powder. So I really am curious about this powder since I've heard really good things about it. Um, I've always used the Laura Mercier translucent powder, so I'm interested in, in how this one would compare. And then I also have a couple of samples that maybe we'll try out, but one is the Dior Rouge Ultra Care Lip Colors. So it came in this really beautiful packaging, but essentially you open it up like this and then it comes in this little kind of tester. So you have four different shades and two liquid lip colors and then two regular lipstick colors. And so I'm assuming this is part of their new range of Ultra Care lip colors. And then I also have this, um, sample of the It Cosmetics um, foundation. So this is the foundation counterpart of their really popular CC cream. So maybe I'll use this one to try out today. I might need to mix between fair neutral and medium neutral though, the top two shades here. Okay, sorry if there's a lighting change. I had to turn on my light in the room because there was no more natural light. Let's get started with the foundation then. So I'll be using the little foundation samples just to try it out. Okay, so I just patch tested and it looks like the medium neutral 31 is a much better match for me. So it's almost like a perfect match here. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply with my fingers. And I really like this texture, it's super light. Um, I would say that it's offering kind of light to medium coverage, but it looks really skin-like, so you can barely tell that it's on. So yeah, I'm really liking this. It's, it feels super lightweight on the skin. I feel like it does provide a really natural finish, so very skin-like, and I do think that there's there must be some type of like hyaluronic acid in here or something because it feels very hydrating. It does say that there is skincare in here, so it's supposed to um, visibly refine skin texture, soften skin, even appearance of skin tone. So I do like that. So last item in my haul, 
And I actually forgot to mention this a little bit earlier, but it's the Ambient Lighting Edit, the Mini Sculpture Unlocked palette. So this has the four different shades and it's a more curated version of a previous Hourglass Unlocked palette, the six pan ones. But um, when this one was available, this one was actually sold out last year and the year before. So really tough to get your hands on, but I love this new packaging. It's kind of this like sculptural design. This is what it looks like. So you have soft light, which is an all over finishing powder. You have a bronzer shade, a blush, and then you have your highlighter. So this is soft light, um, golden bronze light. This is mood flush, and this is the champagne strobe light. And this is in the um, metallic strobe powder. So it's a little bit um, more of a highlightery shade compared to their other powder formulas. Now I will go ahead and just do my contour. Let's try out the Dior palette here. So I'm gonna go in with this middle shade here and put it all over my lid. Wow, that's really beautiful. It just blends out super easily. This is a great everyday palette and it's pretty neutral. So not too warm, not too cool. And then I'm going to go in with my fingers on this bottom shade here. I'm gonna concentrate that on the, the lash line. So towards the lash line. So this is more of a cool tone brown. That just adds some definition there. Going in with a brush just to be a little bit more precise in placement. Super soft look. Bringing that down on the lower lash line as well. And then I wanna try out this shade up here. So this really pretty metallic shade. And I'm just using my fingers and putting this on the inner part of my lid. Ooh, super pretty. And these are super buttery, super smooth. Basically blend out effortlessly. Wow, that's really nice. So now I'm gonna just curl my lashes and then try on the Ilia Mascara. What I'm actually gonna do is add a little bit more definition on my lash line with this darker brown shade. Add a super soft wing. And this palette I feel like would be really great for travel because you can get a really natural daytime look as well as smoking it out, adding more of a metallic shimmer for nighttime. So once we are able to start traveling, going on trips again, this would definitely be in my travel makeup bag. Going in with this Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. So let's see how this one does. I'm actually super picky about my mascaras, but so what's cool about this one, it actually has two different types of brushes. There's a longer, more comb-like one on one side, and then the flip side is a little bit shorter bristles. I think this is to, to kind of pack on the volume. This is to separate. So let's first try going in with the separating side. So this one does nicely coat the lashes with mascara and there's no clumping, which I really like. And I'll give you guys an update on how this wears throughout the day. So this is with the comb side, so I can see that they are very separated, kind of fluttery looking. And then now for the other side, I do think that they added nice separation, but I am noticing that the curl is already starting to drop. So I'm gonna go ahead and just curl my lashes again. And if you have really naturally straight lashes that are a little stubborn, I don't know if I'd recommend this um, 
mascara. Okay, so I do want to use this Hourglass palette. I'm very excited about this. Um, I think the first thing I'll do is go in with more of the finishing powder. So I'm going to use a little powder brush and then go in with this finishing powder and then see what this looks like all over the face. Do you think it was really nice? I don't know if you guys can tell a huge difference, but um, it was really smooth. My face doesn't look powdery. And I think, yeah, it's a good way of setting. Then I'm gonna do bronzer next. So using this little contour bronzer brush, dabbing that in, just placing that down. And it does have these like little micro glitters, but I'm not sure if they're going to show up on the face. I prefer more of a matte bronzer, but I think this one's also adding a nice sheen. I do think that this makes your look very cohesive. So it's a great, this again is one of those great travel palettes, which I definitely could see myself bringing to a nice kind of tropical vacation. Okay, and then going in with the blush, it's a little bit more of like a pinky cool tone blush, and just placing that, oh I like that a lot. And then for highlighter, just going in and putting that. Wow. That adds a pop for sure. So this is really soft. It's a very soft formula, so um, definitely be careful because you actually pick up a lot of highlighter. Great, now that I look super glowy. Now I'm gonna line my lips with the Anywhere Caffeine Pencil. Yeah, I love this color. It's like the perfect nudie brown. Let's see. I don't know if I want to apply the any of the Dior lip colors since I love this color so much. Maybe I'll go in with a little bit of rosewood. So I'm using the little brush applicator it came with and it is a very moussey formula. Oh wow, that's nice. It's a matte formula, but not drying. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. So I was able to use a lot of the things that I got in my little Sephora haul. Um, let me know what you guys think of this lipstick color. If you prefer just the lip liner Anywhere Caffeine itself, or if you like this uh, darker matte look. So I actually think the look came together pretty nicely, even though I was just trying things out as I went. Um, it's a really nice kind of cooler toned neutral look. So I think this is actually a good look for a lot of different occasions. So let me know what you guys think. Would appreciate it if you like this video or leave a comment down below. And also please follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Susan Makes It Up and also leave it down in the description box below. So thanks again for watching. As always, I really do appreciate the support. So I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.